We have a new trailer we're going to be dropping um, around the music. We have a lot of cool music we're going to be playing. So I think um, if music is your thing and music and games is your thing, which I know all of us are fans of here, and I know a lot of people out there are fans of, um, you know, we're going to show some, we're going to hear and show some really cool stuff. Welcome to dev stream number 10. This is a very, very special, exciting dev stream. We are live here in Spiritland Studios in London. I have new friends today. Yeah, I'm, hi everyone. I'm a, I'm a composer from London, do, do films, do games. Um, adverts? Adverts sometimes, yeah. Although the year and a half, last year and a half, I haven't had a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I've been working on this, which has been an amazing year and a half. I started, I started doing sort of, came out of music college about 12, 12, 13 years ago. Um, was lucky enough to become an assistant for a composer called Lorne Balf. Um, mm. and I worked with him for, for a number of years and then uh, went on to work with Rupert Gregson Williams and Hans Zimmer. And then about five, six years ago, I sort of broke off and and started um, started on my own. So so just mainly been doing films and and uh, album releases. And this actually is my first proper game on my own. Yeah, I'm Justin. I was um, I was a music supervisor before I was working in games. So that's how um, Thomas and I sort of got to know each other. Um, and now, yeah, sort of like I've been in charge of all of the music and all the sound for Rome, so there's been lots of back and forth with Thomas, lots of back and forth with our sound designers and audio designers, sort of ensuring that like this game sounds as good as it looks mm. and plays. It's been such a fun experience on this. And it's been a pleasure sort of like working with you guys, sort of going on that journey of just figuring out what it all sounds like and making it all work. <laughs> it's a long time. It, 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 yeah, it, 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 two, it is. Nearly two years. Yeah, we've, we've probably spent more times on the phone with each other maybe than with like our families yes <laughs> like, yeah. yeah my partner does keep saying who's justin yeah <laughs> she's getting uh, jealous <laughs> how do you bring in um those strong themes those strong characters and personalities into the music that we were going to great create for this that was a big part of our very first yeah. initial discussion yeah well there was, a, we, there was it was discussions weeks and weeks of discussions wasn't it and and i was lucky enough to see some captures of the game early on and and see the sort of colors and the tone of it. But I know early with our discussions and with Justin and with Jonas, it was about finding that theme that would take us on the journey. Yeah. So so that in a way was a big help to getting that out of the way early and getting so, um, although it took a while, um, <laughs> it getting getting something that we, we knew we could work with for the next year and a half. And that was the fundamental, you know, of what we were sort of doing. We were sort of very careful to make it organic, but it, it we didn't want to just do source music from that time. I mean, partly not a lot many people knew what the source music at that time sounded like. Right. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know what, is, I'm what, a, is, what does an <laughs> instrument sound like back in Roman times? I'm not going to offend people with the Latin words for the instruments, but there's so many times <laughs> when I was researching them that it said actually no one has agreed what this instrument actually sounded like. So <laughs> that was interesting, but there are a lot that we do know what they sounded like and a lot of them feature in this.
the first time I heard that, I think in its entirety, especially with all the live orchestra recording, I think I just, I, I flipped out. Like, I remember sitting in my office and hearing that the first time, and it was just, it was extraordinary. Yeah, I think like, what was, like the demos of it sort of like was something, like they had like some magic to it. And the moment we went off to do like the live recording, we were just kind of all like, oh, <laughs> damn, really good. Yeah, it brought it to life, and it, and it mm. was so important. Like we had we had so many of those those players on it that specialize in music from that era that added that mm. flavor. You can't you can't show that in a demo. No, and it was the thing that we were sort of talking about, like the importance of having like players on it to like yeah. get like to harness like yeah. their passion and like and the performance of it that kind of yeah. really like that gives it sort of like I mean especially sort of the things like the cello and everything like that really get like that bite yeah in some of the other tracks and stuff as well the main theme was uh, it was a huge orchestra so there was <laughs> uh, there was well there was two orchestras so it was, it was at the last count about 235 players 240 players Jeez. which was which was probably the biggest i've i've Vast. worked yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it was scary big and then and then there were 16 french horns and uh, 16 french 16 horns french horns <laughs> eight either side so that was quite quite something and then there was you had two tubers there was eight trombones um and then so that was our orchestral group and then we had all of our soloists so on that uh, andy finden our amazing uh woodwind player um played the uh, played a lot of he's played on a lot of the score but um the, he's featured quite heavily on that and um we've got solo violin solo cello on it just to kind of get the intimate moments but um yeah big forces yeah yeah i was have you ever worked with like two fortresses like that like was that, was that a even in yeah. some of the big like movie films you've done is that something that's, very, that's not really common is it no you, you you always you always track them that's kind of normal ish in in sort of bigger films but never to all, never to all, just, <laughs> I, I mean, that's just absurd um, and a it lot of fun. I mean, I think it's kind of, it sort of spanned into it when we were talking in the first sort of like discussions talking about like the shape of the main theme and the way it goes sort of like, because I suppose it's, it's a lot of movements yeah. really, isn't it? And I think that's probably like a way a lot of the score goes because of the different ways and the different kind of hints that we wanted to give people yeah. Yeah. and like and stuff that's going to be coming up, like the main, the main theme is sort of something that, like it's used in key areas and then there's going to be bits of it that you'll become quietly familiar with absolutely um and you'll constantly just get to be like huh oh okay cool like it's a bit of it's here and a bit of it's there so it still was still with you yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. No, i think that's one of the important parts is that it kind of goes on that journey with you as a character goes and you have different versions of it yeah. sneaking into some of the you know i'm not going to spoiler or anything but there's like intense moments in the story mm. and you'll have like this combat track going or you'll have an emotion track going and that like lyrical line will just come in and speak and you just i don't know it gives you to me it gives me shivers like, I, get, I get i get very uh, excited about that and i think it's a, a really cool way that helps like uh, use the music to amplify the hero's journey we're gonna play um the cleopatra's theme which is a really really cool theme um, it's it's in the African region, so it has like an African inspiration, and you get to hear a new instrument.
Well, it's it was it's quite a daunting one to write a theme for Cleopatra. Right. It, <laughs> yeah. It, That's I, no small I, task, yeah. is it? So I I my thinking was just to do something that showed the human side rather than mm. the legend, and you, you know Jonas and and you helped so much with how you know the aspects of her character that we're portraying, but I just I just sort of had in my head that there was a sort of like sultry arrogance yeah. side and, and and i wanted just something that didn't really sound like the rest of the score and was kind of almost like a snake going through the through the grass but kind of a very um very good looking snake <laughs> um, <laughs> and i think the key with that is we had to stick to our organicness of the score but at the same time with cleopatra we wanted to give her an edge yeah and yeah. instead of using instruments from this time what we did was just use instruments that would have been around back then but layered with each other mm. so that it creates something slightly different and I mean you were there when we were recording with Andy yeah and we couldn't we, it was originally on a deduc which um it's a beautiful sound but it just wasn't sort of right it was sounding it was thin. yeah it was thin it was sort of nasal and it wasn't sort of what what we we wanted something a bit more sultry and yeah. rounded that the instrument that plays her theme actually is two instruments combined mm. that doesn't exist anywhere else. So, <laughs> it, well, it, and, and he created an, an instrument. He created an instrument. Good lord! Literally on the spot. Yeah, uh, he com he combined. Uh, so so not only is Expeditions Rome music inspired by authentic uh, historical places, has its own personality. You get to hear a new instrument. Like yeah. that's a whole different level of world first. We should have got him to name it. Oh, no. oh yeah, you should have asked Andy to name it. We know our Latin's not good. So. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for anyone, uh, the, the framing of that joke, we have uh, uh, names for all the tracks, and we are going to hear us try pronounce one of them later on. We cannot even get the Latin stuff right. I hope there's no scholars on, <laughs> on, online tonight. Yeah, Jonas is probably listening. He's cringing in the background because <laughs> uh, they actually did have someone. They had a scholar help them get all the names right for all the voice acting. So here we are. We're, we're uh, messing up the names of our own uh, music tracks. <laughs> Let's hope he's busy tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're actually making a, um, a documentary, a short documentary, uh, but a documentary about this, this entire adventure for creating the music of Rome with all the cool instruments and everything that we've done with it. Um, and uh, that'll be coming out in December, uh, late December. We actually did some of our interviews yesterday. Um, we were actually in one of the studios that we recorded a lot of the soloists in. And so um, we're, we're, uh, we're really excited about that uh, whole video coming out. But we have a cool teaser to show you, kind of a little bit of a taste of what's coming. Um, and we're going to go ahead and play that for you right now. Uh, one person asked, I think, an interesting question, which, and I don't know the answer to this, actually. Was there any um, religious inspiration for the music that was uh, from the time period? Anything you kind of pulled from in that part? Um, I looked at it in terms of zones. So where we were in the game, because I don't mm. know how much I'm allowed to say, but we're, obviously we're in very yeah, we have different... The yeah, the three regions. We, we have, know we have all the different regions. And so I, I drew mainly from that. So... so uh, the Cleopatra aspect, the, the African aspect is mm. very, it, it, it taps into that kind of music. Greece kind of taps into a lot more plucked, vibrant, like the landscape. Yeah. You know, Gaul is a lot more, um, I don't know what the word for it is. Gaul is a lot more sort of rhythmic based mm. and mm. 
um, earthy. It's kind of yeah. very earthy sound. And then the Rome, you've got the big bombastic we're in Rome sound as well. So I, I sort of mainly focused on those four areas. Yeah. And then we had our themes that appear in all those areas dressed in different ways. Some of the tracks are, uh, um, what we generally try to do is after our discussions is try and create something that was so organic and authentic, but also new. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. But there are some pieces in the score that are authentic source music. So, um, you know, Festum, where, where it is, people playing in a in a court or whatever it, it's very that that stuff's very authentic because you don't want to take people out of the game so that's very true to what it would have been like back then well that kind of is a lead in to the next thing so i think um we're talking about kind of making um the music your own and kind of how that goes and one of the things that we get uh, you know the opportunity to announce today is that we're actually doing a really kind of special event um, it's been going for the next three or four weeks, so this is just a kickoff, and you'll see a lot more about this as, as time goes on. Um, I know some of it's probably already leaked on Steam because some things uh, got posted a little bit earlier, but we're doing this uh, music contest, and it's, uh, it's, it's an opportunity for people to... Uh, I, I, I know, I think you mentioned, Justin, that there's been a few things like this. I've never seen like this, anything like this before, but um, Thomas is gracious enough to, to volunteer, and um, uh, we're putting some of your music out there. Yeah. We're going to be giving out sheet music, so all the, the sheet music for three of the tracks, yeah. and we're going to be giving out stems. Now, what are stems? If you can just kind of explain that to people who maybe don't know. So stems are what Justin gets that is basically every track split into, I think, about 12, 14 tracks so that you can isolate all, all the different sections on their own. So you'll have the short strings, the long strings, the string tunes, and the brass, and the, the horns, and you'll have it all separate so that you've got a lot of control and it's what allows Justin to, to implement stuff like yeah, I think if we'd have put all of the stems in from the recordings initially and not grouped them, that <laughs> like Peter and the guys would have just been like, no, <laughs> this is going to break the game if we put this amount in. The cool thing though is that you're going to be able to take all that material, it's, gonna be, it's downloadable right now, uh, and then make your own covers with it. Yeah. Um, and uh, you can make your own, you can go bug your, your favorite musician out there or influencer or whatever and, and have them take a crack at it. But it's an opportunity to do any kind of arrangement. We're giving out three tracks, two we've played so far, we have one more to go. Uh, we're giving out the, 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 the Cleopatra track. Yeah. Um, we're giving out uh, b uh, b b Bithynia. Bithynia, however you pronounce that. It's that <laughs> big epic combat track. We have one more track we're going to play in a little bit with more of a duet mm. and um, see what you guys can do with it. See what kind of cool things, whether you're a piano player or maybe you play trumpet or maybe you're a singer and you can find a way to make it your own. Yeah. Um, a, a DJ, and you want to yeah. like, I would, I, I personally really want to see like an EDM remix of one of these, yeah, um, with like yeah. the percussion loops or something. Um, but it's all out there for you to play with. Maybe like a funky version of Cleopatra's theme. Yeah, like there's got to be some electric guitars, because because we weren't allowed those on the score, so we got right, it, right. We got it. Yeah, maybe some kind of acid jazz kind of thing that would. Would well, someone could do a metal version or something? That'd be <laughs> and weird. You could do a metal version of, of, of parts of Benthia and it would like it would like, land. Can you imagine take the cello, like, take the cello lines. Proper like claw, like yeah. <laughs> like I imagine someone like in Garage Band, like just doing <laughs> yeah. all the little like low level editing. Um, oh, cool. So the contest is going to run for about four weeks, uh, a little less. All the details are going to be on our website. Um, there's three different prizes available. So we have one prize. Uh, well, all, so all the prizes include. Um, a, a piece of signed memorabilia. We're still figuring out exactly. We know uh, we have a couple things. We have something we really want it to be, and then we have something that uh, it may end up being. But either way, it's going to be something from uh, the music story of this game. It's going to be signed by Thomas, by Justin, by Logic Artists. Um, we're going to have a key for the game, and then for uh, two of the prizes, we're going to give away $500 to the winners, and then for one grand prize, we're going to be giving away $1,000. So really a cool opportunity to um, get a chance to get your music uh, listened to as you go into these arrangements. And um, we're going to be back here in about four weeks, different setting. We're not going to be in here. We'll be virtual. Um, but we're going to take all of the submissions, um, grab the ones that are kind of the finalists, and then we're actually going to listen to them live on a stream where we're going to comment on them, maybe even have some people guests come in and uh, we can interact with them so if you ever want to interact with the with a film and game composer you'll have a chance to talk to Thomas directly one on one and um, we're gonna pick one from the community one from like the professional influencer space and then the grand prize is gonna be done by popular vote so we'll put up a voting poll and you'll get to choose the ones you have so I know we've kind of talked I've answered this a little already but is there like a particular genre like that you really want to see like one that you're like not not to say like how you would win 
I'm not trying to say this is how you'd like stack the deck in your favor, but what's one that you're really like, man, that'd be cool to hear? I think something as far away from the score as possible. I think it's something... It, American do, country music. America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Banjo, right? Like, Wait, we, go, don't, we don't go to the Deep South. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If anyone is a, <laughs> no, a banjo player. Yeah, just something, I think something totally different would be, would be after a year and a half, would be quite cool to hear, I think. Mm. Just something totally yeah, abstract. Absolutely. Yeah. What about you, Justin? Aside know. from the metal uh, yeah, uh, bin theater. Apart from like, metal, I think again, like Thomas was saying, like something that's really kind of wildly different from one of them. So I mean, perhaps not necessarily like a particular genre, but for like for one of the pieces, like maybe I say if someone took like Cleopatra's theme and sort of turned it into something that was kind of, I don't know, really quick and jazzy or something mm. like that, you know, sort of something that kind of, you know, you can listen to it and like, oh yeah, it's definitely it, but damn that's new yeah yeah there are some uh, there are different people that i there's a lot of people who do covers out there which is kind of the inspiration for this is so many people love doing these things and so we figure why not enable them and offer you know an opportunity for them to get something from it um but uh like some of the covers i listen to there's a there's a uh i, I can't remember the exact channel name but it's a group called smo yoho does a lot of the auto-tune stuff yeah and one of those guys likes to do sad versions of happy songs yeah or happy versions of sad Amazing. songs and he'll take he'll take like a, a um a music track that's all major all poppy all like about bright sunny whatever and he'll throw it into minor and just make it sound like it's super depressing but with the exact same lyrics and you're like what in the world going on so i'm not sure if you know smo yoho cool. will ever get this but that's super cool stuff yeah break all the rules and do what we weren't allowed to in the game and do it the exact mm. opposite and then we can live through that piece yeah maybe i'll grab a clip of this and at smo yoho and see if they'll do it. i've been listening to those guys for a long time so that'd be really funny i mean someone's gonna do it with a kazoo ensemble or something as yeah. well that would be really <laughs> that'd be badass what's that what um isn't there like a whole like i think there's a youtube channel of someone that does like the there is yeah and it like, has like the kazoos and the hand drums or whatever and yeah. he'll do like remix does he film he, himself yeah he does like the oh, whole yeah, like yeah. uh I, there's like the um uh i think he does like some game stuff mm. i remember like uh, i think he did like a like a, like a, a mario one or a zelda one or something that's cool yeah that. there's a lot of cool stuff out there so go wild the you know whatever you guys can think of we'll we'll um be taking those submissions Again, all the details are on the website links, and they're also posted everywhere. It's on Steam. It's on. Um, it's gonna be on our community site on Discord. Oop, I drank soda, and now it's uh, getting to me. <laughs> Um, and there's a lot of cool opportunities there for you guys to get plugged in and, and find the details. And um, I mean, you'll be able to post them on, you can post them on YouTube or SoundCloud or whatever, um, you know, platform that you like, as long as we can play it in a browser. You know, we don't want to download anything because that can be a little sketchy. But as long as we can play it in a browser, they're completely valid. And then post it to us um, on Twitter, or you can post it to us on Facebook. Uh, or you can put it in Discord, and we have a hashtag, um, uh, Sounds of Rome, I think is a hashtag. Um, and you can just tag it with that, and then we will correlate all of them, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, Justin, Thomas, thank you so much for joining thank the stream so and giving much. us your evening tonight to hang out with us. Yeah, and thanks to everyone that listened, and yeah, pleasure to be here. Thanks yeah. to everyone for coming and asking us questions and hanging out. Yeah. December the 15th. Yeah, December 15th, so we're going to be back. Uh, we'll have other streams. Uh, we're streaming again in two weeks, so you'll get those th as well. But on the 15th, we'll be back um, with Thomas, and we'll hopefully have all these covers to listen to. Uh, again, the details are going to be on the website, so if you want to get into the, the music competition, earn a little bit of swag, earn a little bit of money maybe, um, you know, we'll be back here to listen to all that in, in, on the 15th. And uh, until then, you can go see some of the uh, tracks that we played today um, on the Dev Diary. It's on our community site. Uh, you can download the, the stems if you wanted to listen to those for fun and play with them yourself. There's a lot of content out there to explore. And then, of course, that new uh, teaser trail that launches is going to be up on YouTube. Um, and you can watch that again, too, and, and enjoy that experience. So, everyone, thank you so much for joining and tuning in. Or I know some people were watching it uh, after the stream because they, they weren't going to be able to make it today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you.